but there are other victims. Well, Melanie, I just want to um, ask a few things of you, um, bring your expertise in here. From the point of view of, uh, of the defense, how huge of a mistake was it for him to testify? In my opinion, I never would have let that guy on the stand because it, it, in order for him to testify, he had to admit to all of those other crimes and he had to admit that that was him in the kennel video and in the Snapchat video. And that's what sunk him. I don't know if they wanted him to testify. He may have insisted. He's an attorney. Uh, he thought that he could get up there and he could talk himself out of it. Like he's been talking himself out of everything for 20, 30 years. Um, is this something that's, you know, is it going to be grounds for an appeal that now he's going to turn around and say, my, my counsel was, uh, ineffective i had ineffective counsel or incompetent counsel and therefore they they should never have let me testify and maybe that'll be grounds for an appeal i don't know but you know it's important to point out that one of his defense att attorneys dick harpulian is a, is a senator in south carolina i'm sure that he thought that that was going to somehow benefit him with the jury oh you know a state senator never would represent me if i was if i really did this interesting very interesting. This is uh, a couple of the jurors. I want to play a little bit of what they said. Convicted killer Alex Murdoch took the witness stand. He had one big job to do, explain away that video, which proved he'd been lying about being at the scene of his wife and his son's murders moments before the killing. Now jurors are talking about the trial and Les Trent reports. They say it's that video that sealed his fate. Turns out Bubba the dog is one great dog detective. That's the word today after three Alex Murdoch jurors appeared on the Today Show and told how the kennel video that placed Alec Murdoch at the crime scene sealed his fate. He's got his mouth. Murdoch can be heard yelling at Bubba, the family's yellow lab. Bubba's at the kennels, but you don't see him in the video. The dog you see is a chocolate lab the Murdochs were looking after. In a kennel video, that just kind of sealed the deal. The kennel video definitely played a major part. In closing arguments at the double murder trial, prosecutor John Metters put it this way. Thank God for Bubba. Bubba is now being cared for by the Murdoch's former housekeeper. The jurors were also asked what they thought of Murdoch's decision to testify. I think that he believes that he's so convincing that he felt like that was his you know, last resort. This new mugshot of Murdoch with a shaven head shows his shocking transformation into a state prisoner. Murdoch was moved from this jail to a Department of Corrections Evaluation Center nearby. Officials tell Inside Edition he'll undergo medical tests and a mental health assessment. That whole process should take about 45 days, after which Murdoch will be sent to a maximum security prison. Saturday Amazing. You know, they I know Duty Ron did a show last night about how is he going to basically um, survive in prison. And I believe he's going to thrive in prison. I really do. Because and I'm hear me out. I know mm -hmm. you're shaking your head. No, no, no. I but think I'm agreeing with you. I think he's he's a scam artist. He's a criminal, just like mm -hmm. the other criminals in prison and the other criminals, rather than having disdain for him. They're going to reach out to him to help them, mm -hmm. to help them with their legal matters. Sure, if they right. got a problem with the prison, they're going to say, file a lawsuit. Tell and he's going to, mm -hmm. yeah. And he's going to just be shine in that environment where everyone's going to be like, oh, that's Murdoch. That's Murdoch. And so all of these, uh, I've seen a, a lot of talking heads on different channels saying, oh, he's going to have a hard time in prison. No, he's not. He is not because He's an attorney and, you know, he can get other lifers to protect him if that's going to be a problem because mm. he's got something to sell. And believe me, before you know it, he's going to run the prison because he's such a scam artist. Yeah, I mean, I think you could be right. I think they're, are they keeping him in solitary right now? I didn't, I wasn't able to watch Ron's show last night, but uh, he's in some sort of maximum security. Is he in solitary? I'm not sure. Well, no. Well, supposedly he's going to be in protective custody. But if mm -hmm. they look how that worked out for Epstein. 
Yeah, exactly. And it's if they figure out that maybe maybe he doesn't need to be in protective custody, they'll pull him out of there and he'll just be a regular prison inmate. Mm -hmm. Let me just make a quick announcement, Melanie. Folks, if you're not subscribed to Police Off the Cuff, Real Crime Stories, go on our YouTube, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and ring that bell. I want to thank all the new people that have joined this channel and become members. And uh, we really appreciate your support. And we won't disappoint you as presenting real crime from a police perspective. And if you want to support us financially, we have a Patreon with three different levels. And we also have a YouTube channel memberships with count them, five different levels. And you see the folks with the green font in the chat. They're part of our YouTube family. And we so appreciate everything they do for us, including interacting with us in the chats, which we really appreciate also. So again, I want to just thank everyone who is new to this channel, and uh, we will not disappoint you, trust me.